हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू द वॉइस चेंज फॉर यू एज ऑलरेडी यू हैव लर्न वॉइस चेंज इन क्लास नाइन एंड क्लास एट दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ रिविशनल चैप्टर फॉर यू सो रिवाइज वॉइस चेंज फॉर योर बेटर बेटरमेंट एंड फॉर योर इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश वन ओके सो वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ वॉइस चेंज टूडे so let's uh, continue it so we have done already simple present tense we have done in voice change already simple present tense simple uh, sorry present continuous tense simple past past continuous present perfect oh there was uh, present perfect also so three forms of present tense simple present present continuous present perfect simple past past continuous and past perfect and some questions interrogative sentences i have explained for you so today i am going to explain you future tense and its forms of voice change okay so in future tense let's take an example so at first we will do future indefinite tense voice change obviously so in future indefinite tense okay let me tell you one thing uh, some some of you uh, or some um, parents of you uh, told that uh, you have the english one book i know that all the classes have their uh, respective english one books total english so what you have to do with your total english that there are many exercises and there are some lessons for you which i am explaining here when i am explaining here i am not using any kind of book because we know all the things all the theories so that is why i am explaining you with pen and with writing because it will be more helpful for you to understand the things quite clearly and what you have to do with your total english you have to practice the voice change the narration the uh, preposition all of this you have in your exercises you have to practice with that okay so there is no worry don't worry about that that uh, book is not has been using because you have to learn the thing you have to learn the thing that you you are learning the rules of the english one rules that are the theories so once you learn the theories there will be no need to learn any books for that so what you have to do with your book you have to practice the exercise that is the thing okay okay so let's start this this is future indefinite tense and let's take an example first one he will he will do and look here he will do so uh, wh- how we will uh, change this so there is no object there is no object so you have to bring an object for that so the answer will be like that eat you have to bring eat as your new app, new object so with eat you have to apply will it will b it will be done by him when we are using by then no we uh, there are no chance to use he anymore you have to make it him he will do it will be done by him he will do what what he will do something there is something that he is he will do it so we have to bring an object for that and we bring eat as our new object okay so let's take another example okay you will not you will not recite you will not recite this poem this poem so here we have the object this poem so we have to bring this object as our new subject this poem 
this poem is our new object this poem will according to our new uh, subject will uh, is applicable here this poem will not be recited by you okay so let's take a question of this kind when uh, let's take a question when will when will um, he lend when will he lend us money when will he lend us money so money is the object and he is the subject okay so we have to bring money at the beginning but after when so the answer will be like that when will it will be same when will money be lent the third form of lend is lent when will money be lent lent to us by him okay so the meaning is said we have just converted the subject and object by don't uh, converting the meaning of it okay so that is the uses of future indefinite tense now you have to do one more thing what is that let's turn let me turn the page okay so the next thing is future perfect tense future perfect tense okay so in in future perfect tense let's take an example she will have opened a school she will have opened a school okay so a school is the object and she is the subject so we have to bring a school at the beginning of the sentence when we will uh, change the voice a school will have been in all the perfect tenses whether it is present perfect tense whether it is past perfect tense and whether it is future perfect tense when you are writing the passive voice you have to bring a been okay the rules are all the same just the be words are changing according to the tenses a school will, a school will have been opened by not she by her okay let's take another example i shall have painted a picture i shall have painted a picture so a picture is the object and i is the subject so a picture will be our new subject a picture so a picture is our new subject and we have to use shall here also a picture shall have shall have been painted by what we can't use i as we are uh, telling the sentence indirectly and when we are using by we have to use me instead of i okay now oh 
we have done this job. Okay. So this is a this is an interrogative sentence, and when we are uh, doing it passive one, so here we have used who. Then when we will make it a passive in interrogative. we have to use by whom at the beginning by whom okay by whom will this job have been done <coughs> okay so this is the interrogative form of future perfect tense okay so all these things we have to learn and now uh, i'm telling you one thing that the, these two forms of future tense are used in voice chat and there are some other things that we may notice while using uh, sorry while learning while learning the voice chat like there are some few other rules uh, for imperative sentences let's take imperative sentences there are uh, many kinds of sentences we have uh, seen that in statements in interrogative sentences how we have used uh, voice change so in imperative sentence how we'll make it passive okay so imperative sentence what are the imperative sentences on order request that are the imperative sentences with all do it at at once so it's an order do it at once okay so when we will receive or uh, when we will face this kind of sentences that is called imperative sentence eh? sentence we have to use let in passive voice let okay at the beginning let it be done let it be done at once we have used a third form This is a different rule, okay, for imperative sentence. Next one, shut the door. Let the door be shut. Shut is used in three forms, okay, in V one, V three, V two, and V three, okay. Uh, now, next one, please. That is a request. Please lend me your book. So it's a request. And when we are making it passive one, how we will make it passive? You are. You is there. You are requested. You are requested to lend me your book. Okay. So you will ask me that you have not changed the verb form of lend here. So because we didn't change the verb form here because to has been used here. Two is called an infinitive, and after two, the forms of the verbs never changes. Okay, so these are the imperative. Make it passive verbs. Okay, now come to the next segment. That the sentences. Sentences with can. may must etc okay so let's take one example you may take this take this book you may take this book okay so how could we change 
this book is our object so we have to bring this book at the beginning of the sentence this book may be we have to use a be this book may be taken by you okay now let's take another example of this kind that is me got bless you so in our uh, in make it passive we have to use me you be blessed blessed may you be blessed by god okay now let's take another example you must help her okay so what is the object her is the object and you is the subject so when we will bring her as our new subject you have, we have to make it she okay we have to make it she she must be helped by you okay So you got all these things clearly now in some sentences we use uh, prepositions other than by instead of using by we use prepositions so what are the, those kind of sentences we uh, let's do uh, let's take a look use of prepositions then by okay so first example the jug contains milk so in this voice change we will we can make it like this milk is contained in the jug why uh, we you can uh, make it uh, uh, we can make it passive by using by also but when we are using in it uh, sounds uh, a slight different why because jug is not an animate object that is why when you we are using in it is more suitable use for this okay so you can do like this also okay now let's take another sentence of this kind mm. grass grows over the fields so how we can make it passive fields are overgrown overgrown with grass with grass we are not using by we are using with instead of by so it is more suitable to hear so that is the difference that is the difference that we are making it okay i think you got the voice change and all the parts of voice change quite clearly okay so thank you for today and definitely i uh, if uh, uh, I, i definitely i will give some extra classes to you to uh, provide you some prepositions exercise or like that okay so thank you for today